it's a week from Monday, so we still have time for things to change. And this is a major celestial event, a solar eclipse of the sun, a total one. It's a big deal here in Dallas because we'll have the longest stretch of that totality in the largest American city along the path of the eclipse. The place to be will be Clyde Warren Park in partnership with the Perot Museum of Nature and Science. Joining us to talk about all their amazing plans, the museum CEO, Dr. Linda Silver, and Kit Sawyers, president and CEO of Clyde Warren Park. Ladies, thank you so much for being here. Thrilled. Yeah, thanks for having us. You already brought the goods. Talk to me about how many glasses you've yeah. already distributed out here. So the Perot Museum put one million glasses out into circulation. A majority of those went to schools, over 575 schools in the area. And the rest are being distributed at the museum, at Clyde Warren Park, and out in the community. So all of next week, we'll have our tech trucks out. You can check on our website to see where we'll be, and we'll be distributing more glasses. Now, Clyde Warren, the public place to be for folks who want to get in on the action, because as we know, we've already talked about it. Hotels are sold out. A lot of events are sold out, but you can still take part with thousands of your closest friends. Yeah, absolutely. We've been getting calls from the UK, from Germany. I mean, people are really planning on coming to Dallas for this event, but you know, everything in the park is free. So we're very grateful to partners like the Perot Museum who are providing glasses, tens of thousands of glasses to whoever shows up that day, their tech truck, and even a panel of astronomers um, for people who really want to learn more about what's going on. Now, Kit, beyond the price point being just my kind of price point, which is free. <laughs> um, what are some of the other reasons folks should come out? Of course, you're going to have that diversity, but is this a family friendly spot? It's definitely a family friendly spot. You know, it depends on if kids are in school or not, what's going to happen that day. But we've got about 24 food trucks for everybody, lots of different food options. We've got a fun band who's going to be playing songs like Total Eclipse of the Heart. So we'll be ready <laughs> for that. Um, and then this Carnegie Science group of astronomers who's going to be educating us, um, I think will provide a, a full experience. Again, thanks to the pro. You know, wearing the glasses, making mm -hmm. sure you're practicing safety during yep. this is super important. But education is also paramount for the pro. You've got educators and experts really fanned out across the community leading up to. So talk to us about some of that. We do. So our science educators are out all next week with our tech trucks. We've brought 29 astronomers wow. from our partnership with Carnegie Science into Dallas. We're deploying those out into schools and community groups. They'll be at events on Eclipse Day. Um, and I'm excited that a number of them are bilingual. So they'll be able to communicate with different uh, communities here. Just the nerd in you. How excited are you both on a scale of one to 10? Oh, I wouldn't so be anywhere excited. else. I'm, I'm thrilled. I mean, we are just, just talk about, I mean, our goal is bringing the community together and bringing all these visitors together. So talk about a great opportunity for that where we couldn't be more delighted. And of course, our mission to inspire minds through nature and science. I can't think of anything more inspiring. You know, a lot of work partnering with local school districts to make sure that kids can experience mm -hmm. the eclipse. What kind of thought and preparation went into that for the Perot? So we've been working actually for the last two years with Carnegie Science and we've created all kinds of teacher material support so that they have activities that they can do in advance of the eclipse and after the eclipse. When we distributed the glasses, they've got a little uh, our, um, scan code where you can get access to all of those materials. So we've really been thinking about how we can use this real once in a lifetime opportunity to both inspire and educate. Really quickly before we get out of here, if you had any message for folks who are like, yeah, do I really need to go out and see it? What would it be? The next one's not happening for 300 years, yeah, so I'd go it's out. It's now or never <laughs> as far as they're concerned. So get your glasses and come out and see us. We'd love to have everybody. Thank you so much, Kit. Linda, we really appreciate yep. you joining us here for our midday show. Now, you won't want to miss our team coverage of the eclipse on April 8th. We're going to be live at the Perot Museum with two-hour special on WFAA+. Plus. That starts at noon. There's also going to be live coverage right here on TV at 1.30 as the moon passes between the earth and the sun. It'll be another 300 years, folks. We'll guide you through all of it. Thanks for being here. Thank you.